So I'm going to start this video with another true story. A couple years ago, for some reason, I suddenly started having trouble transferring photos from my iPhone to my computer. I tried everything, but kept getting error messages. Then I found CopyTrans Photo and it worked like a dream. No error messages and all my photos were right where I wanted them. So in this video, I thought I'd share my experience with you. Hi guys, Thomas here with CopyTrans team, and in this video I'll show you how to transfer photos from your iPhone to your PC. First things first, download and install CopyTrans Photo. If you need help doing this, click on the link in the description that will take you to a video that will show you how to download and install CopyTrans programs. Once CopyTrans Control Center is installed, open it if it is not already running. Then, click Start next to CopyTrans Photo. Now, connect your iPhone. Let CopyTrans Photo load all your photos, and you will see them appear in the left-hand column. The photos on your iPhone will be displayed in the left-hand side of the window, and photos already on your PC will be displayed on the right. If you want to transfer all photos, click on Full Backup. But if you only want to transfer select photos, select the album, in this case I want to transfer my panoramas, then hold Control and click on the individual photos you want to transfer. If you want to select a series of photos, Click on the first photo in the series, hold shift, and then click on the last photo in the series. If you want to transfer all photos in the album, hit control A and all photos will be selected. Now select a folder where you want your photos to go from the right hand panel. I'm choosing desktop for ease of demonstration, but you can choose anywhere you want. Now simply drag and drop your photos from the left-hand pane to the right-hand pane. Now, click on Apply Changes, and this is very important. If you don't click Apply Changes, no changes will be applied. Now, click on Yes. When you navigate to the folder where you saved your photos, you'll find them just as you remember them. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And like always, I'll see you in the next video.